Welcome back runners. Today's workout is all about planks. The plank is a great exercise to help you run with efficiency, strength, and proper alignment. Master the modified version of a plank before moving on to tougher versions. Let's do a quick form check. Keep your abs engaged and your tailbone tucked under. Spine in a straight line and everything tight. If a full plank is too tough, Start on your knees until you feel strong enough to come up onto your toes. Let's master the high plank. Come up onto your hands and toes and push the floor as hard away from you as you possibly can. Try to keep your neck long, your tailbone tucked under, belly button to your spine. Next, we'll master the low plank, which tends to be a little tougher. This time you're on your forearms and your toes instead of your hands, but all of the same rules apply. Try to keep your belly button pulling in away from your t-shirt and send energy through the crown of your head and through your heels. Let's spice things up and get those obliques involved. We're starting in a high plank, slowly with control lower down into your low plank and then press back up into your high plank. Try to alternate arms. Keep that core super tight as if you're trying to balance a little teacup on your low back without anything spilling. Let's get the posterior chain involved here. Start in a high plank and slowly lift one foot a few inches off the floor and gently place it back down. March in place alternating feet. This is another exercise where we don't want to shift side to side or tilt our hips from right to left. Let's continue to work on anti-rotation with the shoulder tap. Starting in a high plank, gently lift one hand up, tap your opposite shoulder, and place it back down with control. Alternate side to side, trying not to shift. We'll tap into the power of the outer and inner hips with the plank out and in walk. Step your feet out, and then step your feet back in. Once again, trying not to shift side to side. For a side plank, place your elbow right underneath of your shoulder, press into your feet, and lift those hips as high as you possibly can. Think about lifting your waistline away from the floor. For a more modified version of the side plank, simply bend your knees and press into your shins instead of your feet. Maintain a long spine with your hips pressing forward. Ready for a tough one? Come into a low plank, forearms parallel to one another. Slide your fingertips away from you with one hand, and with control, slide that arm right back. The key to this one is, you guessed it, no shifting side to side. And finally, we'll call on those obliques again. Coming up into a low plank, tap one hip to the center of the mat, and then the other hip. Try to come right back through that low plank position, not lifting your hips too high up. Great work, everybody. Start wherever you feel comfortable with your planks. So if that means holding a five second plank on your knees and building from there, you go for it. I know some of these moves were super challenging, so feel free to back off if you ever feel anything in your lower back. You wanna make sure that you're really feeling the work in the abdominals. Keep challenging yourself to add time to your plank holds. I promise this is going to help your core strength and your running efficiency. Thanks for joining me for another Radner Run cross-training workout. This is Jules B, and I'll see you next Wednesday.